Okay, so very good evening to you guys. Welcome back for our second quiz of the day. Good to have you with us. John O'Connor with you. Going to be quizzing you for the next hour and a half, I think, on all things general knowledge. 49 teams. Apologies for the background. I'm not quite sure what I've done to it. We're not able to see those team names coming in there, but we know we have about 50 connected devices so far. We're going to begin in just a few minutes. I know there's still more teams waiting to join. While we're doing that, uh, let's give you some of the updates we have for future quizzes going forward. Okay, so we've settled on a day each week that we're going to be doing a general knowledge quiz going forward. It's going to be every Thursday evening at 9 p.m. Every Thursday at 9, it's general knowledge. Okay. Uh, in keeping with that, we're going to do the odd uh, themed quiz as well. So next Sunday, we've had a few people asking for a Father Ted quiz. Okay, I know those uh, those episodes are quite easy to get on some of those streaming boxes. Father Ted next Sunday, okay. Uh, then, as I said, back to the following Thursday, general knowledge. And the Sunday after that, then, it's a Simpsons quiz. Okay, more about that in the various groups where you found out about this quiz. So keep an eye on that. I do have a secret quiz coming in the next couple of days. I'm not going to be posting it up anywhere. So you're wondering how well, how, how are we going to get to uh, play it then, John? Only those who have subscribed and pushed the notification bell on YouTube will get a 30-minute warning. It's going to be a pop-up quiz one of the days this week. If you can play it, great. There's no charge for it. It's just a free quiz for a bit of fun. So if you get a chance tonight, somewhere along the way, make sure you hit subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell for notifications. We're not going to be posting it up anywhere on Facebook. It's just going to be a pop-up quiz. It's going to happen somewhere this week. So do uh, make sure you hit subscribe somewhere tonight. 54 teams ready to play. We got uh, 80 questions, general knowledge. I'm on the live chat here as well on YouTube. If there's any requests, shout outs, birthdays, dedications, we'll do that for you between now and half past 10 this evening. Okay, someone's told me notifications are turned off because the content is marked as safe. Okay, did not know that. So maybe uh, just go to the channel itself and uh, later on you'll be able to hit the bell notification for future quizzes. Okay, it looks like we have 56 taking part in tonight's general knowledge quiz. Uh, prize tonight, as usual, 25% uh, of the entrance fees that we take in for this quiz go to the winners. Uh, of course, those winners would have had to have purchased the pin. I will be cross-referencing the email address you submitted when you logged in with the Kahoot, along with the order on our site cells. And hopefully you've done that. We know that from time to time people like to share out the pin number but only the people who have purchased the pin can win it so it might not necessarily be the team that wins it it has to be the highest score for the person who purchased the pin okay okay we've reached 60 at the moment i'm sure there might be a few more sneaking in as as time goes along Wish you all the very best to look, and let's see who becomes champions of tonight's quiz. Here we go. Best of luck. Multiple choice in 2019. Who won an Oscar, a BAFTA, and three Grammys, and a Golden Globe? Was it Pharrell Williams? Was it Lady Gaga? 
or was it Brian May? Keep an eye on the countdown clock. There will be a lag and a time delay from the time I'm actually asking the question to when you're seeing it. So don't leave the countdown go below, I don't know, eight or seven seconds, folks. We want to get those answers locked in. As soon as all teams have locked in and answered, the countdown does finish that way as well. 59 correct answers here. It is Lady Gaga is the correct answer. Four thought it was for Well Williams. Okay, we have the top five teams scoreboard on our screen here. Everyone else has their own scores on the bottom right hand corner of the Kahoot app. Let's play question two. First out of your answer in most of these avian influenza can spread to humans by what type of creature all i need is the first letter of your answer there's no need to spell out full answers in this or any of my future quizzes first letter will do fine Okay, correct answer here. It is B for birds. Okay, so just B is all we need, folks. Please do not spell out any more answers. All I need is the first letter of your answer. Okay, KC is the highest climber here. And uh, here's question three. Multiple choice. Which of these novels was written first? Is it The Two Towers, The Three Musketeers, The Sign of Four? So which of these novels was written first? Fifty-seven correct answers here with the three musketeers. Okay, top five, as you can see here. Keep an eye on that. Question four. First letter. Who was president of the USA when Tony Blair became prime minister? First letter, first name. That's all. Who was president of the USA when Tony Blair became prime minister? Sixty-one teams answering correctly, or locking in an answer, should I say? Let's see how many more are actually correct. B for Bill Clinton, thirty-four. Have you answered this correctly? B. Sixteen players just dropped their answer streak of three on that one. Grand stretch, which there is, is in the lead. Okay, first letter of your answer in two thousand and eighteen. What company unseated? Pizza Hut as the world's largest pizza chain. So in 20, sorry, 2018. Yeah, what company unseated Pizza Hut as the world's largest pizza chain? Okay, let's have a look at your answers. It is D for Domino's. 60 correct answers. Well done. Okay, question number six. Multiple choice. What does Kylo Ten kill in the film Star Wars? The Force Awakens. Is it C3PO? Is it Han Solo? Or is it Princess Leia? Okay. 
Okay, 45 correct answers here with Han Solo. Well done to those 45 teams. Christina Aguil in the lead. Grand Stretch second. Big fan. Hunt in third. They're the top three. Here is question seven. Who is this music artist? I need first letter of your answer. First letter, first name. Who is this music artist? Correct answer, it is C for Celine Dion. 56 of you copped on. That was the correct answer. Well done. Phil the Nest is back in the game. Grand stretch back at the lead. First letter. What prefix means against can proceed clockwise and climax? First letter of your answer. What prefix meaning against can proceed clockwise and climax? Okay, 64. Correct answers, is it? We'll see. It is A. Correct answer. First letter is all we need, folks. No need to spell out the full answer. You're losing points. This rewards you the most points for fastest correct answers. Okay, uh, three teams moving up a position onto the top five scoreboard. Multiple choice. Summon with misophobia. It's the most likely to dislike what? Is it bright lights, the feel of velvet, or chewing sounds? Okay, 48 correct answers with chewing sounds. Well done to the 48 teams. Top five stay as they are. Let's move on to question 10. First letter. In 2019, Brendan Rodgers left Celtic to manage what Premier League team? I need the first letter of your answer. Brendan Rodgers left Celtic to manage what Premier League team? First letter. Okay, correct answer. It is L for Leicester City. Leicester City, and 58 of you answered this correctly. Okay, three teams moving up positions on scoreboard. Here we go. First letter. Added together, how many wheels do a unicycle, bicycle, and tricycle have? Okay, for this one, 29 of you. I'm bored making a comeback here, three in a row. Who played Alfie in 1966 and Alfred the Butler in three Batman films? First letter, first name. Who played Alfie in 1966 and Alfred the Butler in three Batman films? It is M for Michael Caine. 
52 correct answers. AC Company into third place here. Follow behind that is answerless. Okay, question 13. In 1973, the Skylab space station was launched from what NASA space station? Or does that make any sense? Well, where it launched from is what we're looking for. First set of your answer. Correct answer here, it is K Kennedy Space Station. 14. Easy Company moved into second with that answer. Okay, for this it's multiple choice. A stuffer was was the predecessor of which piece of sporting equipment? Was it for the bobsleigh, snowboard, or ice skate? Fifty correct answers with snowboard. White stains into fifth place here. Team No Clue is the highest climber of eight places. In what year did France use the guillotine as capital punishment for the final time? Your choices are 1957, 1967, or 1977. So, what year did France use the guillotine as capital punishment for the final time? 57, 67, or 77. <clears throat> 25 correct answers with 77. Okay, question... 16 is multiple choice. Who is the only grandchild of Chris Jenner with the surname Kardashian? Is it Dream, North, Stormy, Apple? Correct answer here, it is Dream. 23 correct answers here. Easy company in first place. Why not? Is after popping into the top five by going into fourth and answerless is in fifth. I'm bored is back with an answer streak of three. Which Thomas Harris literature character is known as the cannibal? First letter, first name. Okay, let's have a look at your answers. It is H. Hannibal Lecter. 50 of you answered this correctly. Easy Company has the highest answer streak of 17 correct answers in a row. What about choice? What would a bartender use a jigger for? Is it to measure alcohol, to stir a cocktail, or to clean the glasses? Uh, 17 have uh, to measure alcohol I'm going to double check that at the end of the round um, just to be sure to be sure 
Okay, next question here is as follows. Multiple choice. Which of these acts has had a UK number one single? Is it Fun Boy 3? Is it Jackson 5 or S Club 7? UK number one single. Sixty correct answers with S Club Seven. Okay, question twenty. First letter. In twenty nineteen, who became the first solo woman to win Best Rap Album Granny Grammy? <laughs> A Grammy here for uh, Best Rap Album. I need first letter of your answer. It is C for Cardi B is the correct answer. How many have you got? 31 of you answered correctly. Well done. In the lead, it is Easy Company. Grand Stretch in second. Why not in third? The Octagon in fourth. And who for you? In fifth. Let's take a short break. Top up those drinks. We're back soon with the next questions in just a few minutes. Back shortly questions to round two, the next 20 questions here. Okay, on we continue. Here we go. Multiple choice. What is the name of the Greek god Apollo when he is personified as the sun? Options below. Fourteen correct answers. Okay, see in a streak of ten in a row here. Eclipse blindness is caused by burns to what layer of the eye? Give me the first letter of your answer. 
Eclipse blindness is caused by burns to what layer of the eye? Correct answer, it is or for retina is the correct answer, and 33 of you answered this correctly. Okay, question 23. What word follows power in the, the term for a short sleep? So what word follows power in the term for a short sleep? Correct answer, it is power nap is the correct answer. 62 of you answered correctly. One te team typed in the full answer. There was no need. Okay, let's have a look at question 24. What form of weather consists of small balls of ice that fall from the sky? First letter of your answer. Don't forget, of course, the faster you answer, the more points you pick up. As additional points then for consecutive correct answers as well. Correct answer, it is hail. H is the correct uh, First letter of your answer, well done, 54 of you. Then goes into third place. Question 25. The Rainbow Warrior was the first ship of what environmental organization? First letter of that organization, please. have a look at your answers it is Greenpeace is the correct answer for this 49 correct answers okay here we go question 26 multiple choice the pinata takes its name from what from the word pot in what language is it Irish Portuguese Spanish Arabic the pinata takes its name from the word pot in what language Irish Portuguese Spanish Arabic Sixty correct answers with Spanish. Okay, team no clue back with an answer streak of three. What part of a cigarette is the most littered item in the world? Give me the first letter of your answer. What part of a cigarette is the most littered item in the world? Sixty-four, correct answer. It is B for the butt. Fifty-seven correct answers. Phil the Nest is back in the game and says here KC has gone into fifth. And why not into fourth? Who is this sports person? First letter, first name, I believe. Yes, first letter, first name. Who is this sports person?
It is A. Adam Scott. Golf player. Why not into third? And J squared into fifth. What about choice in metric numbering? The prefix Pico signifies what is it? One thousandth? Is it one millionth? One trillionth? One billionth? Twenty-five correct answers with one trillionth is the correct answer here. Well done, twenty-five teams. J squared into fourth. KC into fifth. Chris Holics are the highest climbers. Uh, who spent sixty-seven days as England football manager in twenty sixteen? First letter, first name. Who spent sixty-seven days as England football manager twenty sixteen? Correct answer is S for Sam Allardyce is the correct answer and 39 teams answered it correctly. Quizaholics have a streak of 11 correct answers now in a row. Well, of a choice in UK legal terms, the prosecution can also be referred to as what? Is it the law, the crown, the people, the sentencers? Prosecution can also be referred to as the law, the crown, the people, the sentencers. Forty four correct answers. It is the crown is the correct answer. Crown. The Nom Noms, the highest climber, easy company, a little bit of a gap growing between first and second place here. Multiple choice, who was the first person to cross both the North and South Poles as well as climb Everest? Is it Rafin uh, Finis? Is it Ernest Skelton? Is it Bear Grylls? Twenty-six correct answers. Well done to you guys. Any changes at the top? Yes. Fourth goes into third. Le Cuisinart is making a comeback three in a row. Multiple choice. The zombie film Warm Bodies was loosely based on which Shakespeare play? Is it Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, or The Taming of the Shrew? Twenty-seven correct answers with Romeo and Juliet. Second biggest answer with the Taming of the Shrew. J squared. Answer streak of twelve answers in a row. Multiple choice. Who played Michael Caine role in the two thousand and three remake of The Italian Job? Was it Mark Hamill? Is it Mark Ruffalo? I'd say it should be, or is it Mark Wahlberg? Mark Hamill, Mark Ruffalo, Mark Wahlberg. Fifty-one correct answers with Mark Wahlberg is the correct answer, nonetheless. Top five stays they are. Thirty-eight thousand is our leader. 
Okay, multiple choice. What is the most used hashtag emoji on Instagram? Is it the heart, smiley face, or poo? So what's the most used hashtag emoji on Instagram? The heart, smiley face, the poo. Sixty-four locked in their answers. Thirty answered correctly with heart. Twenty-seven said it was the smiley face. Why not into third place? First letter. The coat of a coloured lemming turns what colour in winter? First letter of your answer. The coat of a coloured lemming turns what colour in winter? Okay, correct answer here. It is W for white is the correct answer. How many had it? 45 of you had it correct. Well done. J squared moved into third. Uh, the octagon the fifth. First letter. Can I tell you what other Middle Eastern country has the letter Q in their name? First letter of your answer. Can I tell you what other Middle Eastern country has the letter Q in their name? Forty-seven. Have you got an answer in? You should at least take a guess. You never know if you're right or wrong. How many had it? Thirty-one of you answered correctly. The rack. Lake Wizardal is back with an answer streak of three. Okay. Question thirty-eight. A group of pheasants is known by what name? Is it a bunch, a bouquet, a posse? Forty-five correct answers. Okay, is correct answer. Well done. Grand stretch highest answer streak of sixteen in second place. The name of what new romantic band combined a prison and a type of dance? First letter of your answer. The name of what new romantic band uh, combined a prison and a type of dance? Fifty answered. It is S. Stand up, Ballet. Ah, oh, S is the correct answer here. So anyone that had S, don't worry, we'll give the points at the very end of tonight's quiz. My apologies. Okay, this is question forty. How many people make up the act, the Righteous Brothers? Using digits. How many people? Make up the act, the Righteous Brothers. Correct answer here. It is. Two is the correct answer. Forty of you answer this correctly. 
Okay, so that takes us to the halftime break, guys. We're back after this short message. Okay, thank you. Okay, so if we're all set, we're going to continue with the questions. And as I said, we'll look into that Spando Ballet question later on for you tonight as well. Okay, apologies on that. Normally, when you put in the answer, it automatically populates the first correct answer. Anyway, we move on. Here's question 41. The name of what fighting video game franchise means Iron Fist in Japanese? First letter of your answer. Right, let's have a look at these answers. It is T for Tekken is the correct answer. 34 correct answers. <clears throat> okay, next question. Here we go. Multiple choice. In the film, meet the fuckers. What is the name of the cat owned by Robert De Niro's character? Binksy, Jinksky, Winksky.
54 correct answers with Jinxki. Bat Soup is back in with a answer streak of three. Easy company, still in the lead. First letter. What UN organization uses the slogan for every child in danger? What UN organization uses that slogan for every child in danger? Correct answer, it is UNICEF. How many had you? 34 teams. Okay, question 44. Uh, Tefra, that's a rock fragment, but it's ejected from what geographical feature when it erupts? Fastest answers get the most points. Correct answer, it is Volcano. How many had it right? 54 teams. Top five stay as they were. What famous New York nightclub was located on 54th Street, Manhattan? <coughs> First letter of your answer, what famous New York nightclub was located on the 54th Street, Manhattan? Correct answer, it is Studio 54S is the correct answer. Question 46. In total, how many numbers are chosen for the Euro Millions lottery tickets? Using digits, folks, digits. In total, how many numbers are chosen for the Euro Millions lottery ticket? Correct answer, it is seven. 40 correct answers. Chris Alex is making a comeback three in a row. And uh, Octagon at four to Boy Not in fifth. What Billy Ocean hit has the lyrics, I can't stop the pain inside me. First letter, please, of that song. What Billy Ocean hit had the lyrics, I can't stop the pain inside me. It is L. Love really hurts without you. Why not is into fourth. Question 48. Multiple choice. What is the minimum number of shots you need to win a tennis set if your opponent double faults all of their serves? 12, 18, 24. What is the minimum number of shots you need to win a tennis set if your opponent double faults all of their serves?
31 correct answers with 12 is the correct option here 12. speedy train is back with an answer streak of three how is actor william james murray commonly known first letter first name how is actor william james murray commonly known It is B for Bill Murray is the correct answer. How many had it? 53 correct answers. Top five stay as they are. First letter, what Italian sports car maker produces the 488 Spider? What Italian sports car maker produces the 488 Spider? Correct answer 46, it is Ferrari. Well done to the 46 teams. Team No Clue, the highest climber. Multiple choice. The condiment mustard is usually what color? Chasing points, as fast as you can. Red, blue, yellow, green. correct answer it is yellow 60 teams okay question 52 the pop group destiny's child took part of their name from what holy book first letter of your answer the pop group destiny's child took part of their name from what holy book It is B for the Bible is the correct answer. How many had it? 55 correct answers. Top five, as they were. Which actor played Chandler Bing in the sitcom Friends? First letter, first name. Correct answer, it is M for Matthew Perry. 62 correct answers. Which US tech firm makes Pixel Buds earphones? First letter of your answer, which US tech firm makes the Pixel Buds earphones? Correct answer here is, it is Google is the correct answer. How many had it? 26, 26 teams only. Okay, correct. Uh, sorry, next question. Multiple choice. Someone sailing the shortest route from Brazil to South Africa 
would cross which of these oceans? Is it the Arctic, the Atlantic, the Indian, or Pacific? Correct answer, it is the Atlantic at 37 teams answered correctly. Question 56. Georgetown is an area of what? North American capital city. Georgetown is an area of what? North American capital city. Correct answer, it is W for Washington, D.C. 36 correct answers. All stays the same, more or less, at the top five here. Multiple choice. What is the most popular attraction in the village of Knock in the Republic of Ireland? Is it ancient stone circle, opera house, religious shrine, or botanical gardens? Correct answer here. It is religious shrine. Daisy Boy is ready to come back three in a row. Who is this? First letter of your answer. Who is this? First letter, first name. Correct answer, it is Angelina Jolie. How many had it? 57 of you. Helen of Troy was also known as Helen of what Greek city? Helen of Troy was also known as Helen of what Greek city? Correct answer, it is S. Sparta. 27 correct answers, well done. So this is a sequence question. Uh, from left to right, put these in the correct order. Put this phrase in the order they appear in the nursery rhyme of this little piggy. From left to right, correct sequence. Eighty-seven percent of you answered this correctly. Should have been a little clue in the picture, perhaps. Eighty-seven percent of you. Well done. Fifty-three. 
First letter, what is the name of Bob the Builder's cat? First letter of your answer, what's the name of Bob the Builder's cat? Correct answer, it is P. Which are the correct. 30 teams answered correctly. Well done. Leaders did not get that one right. Easy company. Multiple choice. Which of these is a slow way of talking? Crawling, drawling, talling, scrolling. Fifty-one correct answers. Well done. Second place, not part of the teams that got that one right. Multiple choice, which of these terms refers back to the period of youthful innocence? Is it hot pot times, salad days, fruitful age, or veggie years? So which of these terms refers back to the period of youthful innocence? Hot pot times, salad days, fruitful age, veggie years. Twenty-three correct answers. It is salad days. That's the correct answer. Okay, question sixty-four, multiple choice. What is the name of the third installment in the Alvin and the Chipmunks film series? Is it the Squeakwell, the Chipwreck? Chipwrecked is a chip, by the way. Is it Road Chip? Okay, correct answer. It is chipwrecked is the correct answer. Okay, question 65. How many women make up the weather girls who had a huge hit in the 80s with its raining men? Type in the digit. How many women make up the weather girls who had a huge hit with its raining men? So I'm seeing some teams said six. Correct answer here is two. 32 correct answers. J Square didn't get that one correct by the looks of things. The road splitting into two shares its name with which item of cutlery? First letter of your answer. The road splitting in two shares its name with which item of cutlery? So it is F. Fork in the road. Top five as they were. Quiz Team Aguilera is the highest answer streak 27. What is the national flower of Scotland? First letter of your answer. What's the national flower of Scotland?
Sarah loves the cop. <laughs> T. They sell 49 correct answers. Okay, multiple choice. In which decade did Hawaii become a US state? Was it the 1910s, the 30s, the 50s, or the 70s? So which decade did Hawaii become a US state? Forty-one correct answers with the nineteen fifties. Nineteen fifties. Question sixty-nine: Which actress and model played Joey's stalker, Erica, in Friends? First letter of your answer. So, which actress? We're looking for the actress here. Which actress played model and model played Joey's stalker, Erica, in Friends? Correct answer here. It is B. Buck Shields. Correct answer. How many had it? 20 teams. Answer correctly. Well done. Fifth and fourth didn't get this one correct. Now, here's a real head scratcher. <laughs> How many hairs are on the average human head? Have a look at the options. Raffle style question here. Thirty-six answering correctly, hundred thousand is what they're saying. Our leaders were not uh, one of those teams that had it right, by the looks of things. According to the song, you can get your kicks on which famous route? Type in your answer. Correct answer, 42 of you had it, is 66 on Route 66. We have new fifth place in sanitizers. Question 72. In June 75, Mozambique gained independence from which European country? Give me the first letter of that country. In June 1975, Mozambique gained independence from which European country? Correct answer, it is. P for Portugal, 20 correct answers. Leaders, not part of the 20. In what film did this woman play the part of a school teacher, Miss Honey? First letter, please, of your answer. In what film did this woman play the part of a school teacher called Miss Honey? Correct answer. It is M. Matilda. 53 correct answers. Hunters are making a comeback three in a row here. Have they time to catch? Which planet is the second closest to the sun? Give me the first letter of your answer. 
which planet is the second closest to the sun? How many had this? 39 correct answers with Venus. Okay, question 75, multiple choice. Is Chianti, is it the name of a wine grape, the name of a wine region, or is it both? Correct answer, it's the name of a wine region is the correct option here. Okay, question 76, not too many left to go. What language do the cash machines in Vatican City use? Is it English, Italian, German, or Latin? So what language do cash machines in Vatican City use? English, Italian, German, Latin. Thirty-four correct answers with Latin as the correct answer. Uh, position three, four, and five didn't get this one correct. Three questions. Which chemical element shares its name of the 2011 hit song by David Guetta, featuring vocals of the Australian artist? So, which chemical element shares its name of the 2011 hit by David Guetta, and it featured vocals by an Australian artist? Correct answer. It is T. Titanium is the correct answer. 45 of you answered correctly. Question 78. What is the name of this creature from Minecraft? First letter of your answer. Correct answer, it is S, and only six of you answered this correctly. Six teams. Second place was the only one in the top five who performed a memorable pole dance during the halftime show at the 2020 Super Bowl. First letter, first name, who performed a memorable pole dance during the halftime show at the 2020 Super Bowl. Correct answer, it is J for Jennifer Lopez. 39 correct answers. <clears throat> okay, final question. Who is this? First letter, first name. <clears throat> Who 
58, have you locked in an answer? It is. A. Andrew, come on. So is the correct answer. Three of you answered this correctly. Let's have a look at the top three. As we mentioned, we will be confirming these results later on. We're going to check back over the answers through tonight's quizzes. Third place at the moment, J squared. Second place, Grand Stretch. And the winners... 4,000 points clear. Easy company with the winners as it stands at the moment. Fourth uh, in Sanitizer and Quiz Team Aguilera, I think it was, in fifth. Right, so that is the results as we have them at the moment. As I said, we'll be going back through some of the answers and making a decision on the Spandau Ballet one as well. If it made a difference, we'll make it. If not, an easy company were still at the mercy of my mistake. And they're still the winners right that's it for tonight's quiz thank you so much for coming out uh tough old quiz some of us karen was saying tonight they can't all be too easy as i said to you at the start of the show um we have a thursday night general knowledge quiz every week going forward we're going to have a pop-up quiz we're not posting it anywhere it's only going to go to those who have subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification we'll give you 30 minutes notice there won't be any need to download the pin number it'll be on the screen so nice free quiz and of course we're going to have uh, next week the father ted quiz the week after that on the weekend it'll be the simpsons and also someone mentioned that we have uh, to have a look at superheroes as a quiz as well so some great ideas keep those ideas coming into us uh, during these times we're in a sort of a lockdown situation we want to keep you entertained for as long as we can, folks. Thank you very much for coming out to play, and I'll see you for the next one, okay? Do take care. Bye-bye.